Welcome to another beautiful day here at Mills Motors located at 240 Bond Street East in Oshawa. Today we're having a look at the 2016 Verano sedan shown here in the very nice quick silver metallic and under the hood you'll find a 2.4 liter four cylinder SIDI dock engine with six speed automatic transmission. Taking a look at the inside of the vehicle now, the upholstery is a combination of both cloth and leather. And just down here are some of the controls for the eight-way manual adjustable driver seat. On the driver's side door, there is some storage space down at the bottom. There is also this beautiful wood grain trim. And just in behind it are a few controls, which include window locks, power windows. Up here, we have the power lock and unlock and power mirror controls. Inside the vehicle, just to the left here, these are the exterior light controls, and down below there is some storage space for the driver. On the left-hand side of the steering wheel are cruise control options, and behind that are the indicators. On the right-hand side of the steering wheel, these two columns here are for stereo controls, and this one is for hands-free communication, and then behind that are the wipers. And moving to the color touchscreen in the center now, this will show many options available with this vehicle. So this vehicle is connected to AM, FM, and XM radio. There are also multiple ways of connecting a mobile device to listen to some music from that. So these include USB, auxiliary, and Bluetooth. Demonstration mode. There are just a few buttons to take note of below that. So we have the traction control button, as well as hazard lights and the trunk release. This set of buttons here will control the screen up above and the stereo system. So this top button will turn the stereo system on and off and control the volume. This one will help you navigate the menu or select a radio station. This home button will help you, uh, sorry, will get you to this main screen with all of the options displayed. And this source button will help you switch quickly and easily between AM, FM, and XM radios. Below that, there's a CD player. And then we have the temperature controls. This vehicle is equipped with dual climate zones in the front seats. So using this dial to control the driver's seat temperature and this dial to control the passenger seat temperature, I can show you up on the screen here how I can have the driver's seat temperature set to, let's say, 16 and the passenger seat temperature set to 23. So it just makes for a more comfortable drive for both the driver and the passenger. This button in the center here will control the fan speed. There is also front and rear window defrost. Below that, there is some storage space as well as an auxiliary power outlet over on the right here. And moving back in between the seats, there's a small storage space as well as the electronic parking brake. And then we have two cup holders as well as this center armrest, which extends nicely between the seats. And opening that up, there's even more storage space down below as well as a USB port and an auxiliary input. Looking up from there, there is a power, uh, sorry, a beautiful power tilt and sliding sunroof, which is very nice to let in some fresh air or some sunlight. However, if it is a little too sunny, you can simply pull this shade across and block out some of that sunlight. And that sunroof is controlled by these two controls just up here. Taking a look at the passenger side of the vehicle now, there is a glove box located just down here with plenty of storage space inside. There's also some more storage space on the passenger side door. Once again, we have this beautiful wood grain trim leading up to the power lock and unlock. And just in behind there are the power window controls. Have a look at those very nice 18 inch machined face aluminum wheels with sterling silver painted pockets as we make our way to the back of the vehicle now. And located just down here is the color backup camera which displays its picture on the screen inside the vehicle. And this is a very handy feature, especially when you're trying to back into some of those tighter spaces. So to open up this trunk now, there's a trunk release button located inside the vehicle. There's also a trunk release button located right here on the key fob. So simply make sure that the vehicle is unlocked and then press and hold that button and the trunk will pop open for you. Taking a look inside now, there is plenty of storage space. There are also some hooks on the left and right hand side of the trunk, which makes it very easy to attach a net or rope to keep things in place back here. To close this trunk up now, there is a handle located on the right hand side, so simply grab a hold of that, pull downwards, and the trunk will close very nicely. Having a look at the rear passenger side door now, there is some storage space at the bottom. As well, we have this beautiful wood grain trim and the power window controls. Inside the back seat, there is plenty of storage space located behind both the passenger seat and the driver's seat as well. There's also an auxiliary power outlet and some more storage space down at the bottom here. As I turn around, you can see that this back seat fits three people quite comfortably. However, if no one is taking up that center seat, you can simply pull on the strap and down comes the center folding armrest with two cup holders, which makes for a very comfortable and convenient drive for the people in the back. 
What a fantastic vehicle, both inside and out. And it just keeps getting better as this vehicle is equipped with the safety and connectivity of OnStar. It also has its own 4G LTE hotspot, which means you can connect your mobile devices to Wi-Fi while in the vehicle, which makes some of those longer journeys seem just a little bit shorter. So ladies and gentlemen, once again, this is the 2016 Verano sedan shown here in the very nice quick silver metallic. And under the hood, you'll find a 2.4 liter four cylinder SIDI dock engine with six speed automatic transmission. If you would like to test drive this vehicle, we are located at 240 Bond Street East in Oshawa, and we would be very happy to show you that we will do whatever it takes.